What's up everybody, Casey Curry. We are in my Ray shop and it's looking a little rough because we are back from the hammers, but we got the trophy Jeep. We're gonna do a little vehicle breakdown and walk around just to show you guys what the trophy Jeep is all about. Starting in the front, we basically run Baja Design lights as the headlights to give the Jeep look. Uh, and then we got the Factor 55 hook and fair lead, and then we got the worn winch. So the winch is tucked in behind. We try to protect it as much as we can. We are running the Curry Enterprise 9 inch. It's uh, actually upside down. It's the Independence intersection with Series 30 RCV axles. Uh, and then basically we run a standard A-arm setup in the front uh, with a uh, power rack. Uh, so, I mean, it, to me, it's a very uh, basic setup for three years. It's, it's held together super nice. So it's strapped at 19 inches. It'll travel 21 inches, uh, but we just try to keep it at 19 to keep it everything in the, in the happy zone. So that way, no matter what, a full articulation or full steering that we're not going to have any uh, CV binds. The motor does sit behind us, the tranny's underneath us, and the T case is in front, but everything's driving backwards. So we have a non-high ping in Independence Intersection 9 inch upside down. With that, we run an ARB in the front. Uh, we're running 543 gears. Attached to that is uh, Spicer dry shafts. On the Spicer dry shafts, we don't use U-joints. We actually have uh, CV style that they've uh, made for basically heavier duty stuff, and we've had great luck. So. Getting away from some of the universal joints, it just helps with some of those har harmonics at like higher speeds. So, uh, like at the hammers, we're running 120s on the lake beds. So, a lot of those higher speeds just can vibrate everything. So. <laughs> inch triple bypass uh, Fox shock and then the two and a half inch Fox coilover and then a Fox bump stop all four corners obviously we have bump stops coilover and bypass on all four corners <laughs> Front underneath is a CBR tranny cooler. This thing, with uh, obviously being full drive, it's pretty easy on cooling just because of the load and the low RPM. It really helps make everything uh, cool easy. So, pretty stoked on that. Obviously, we got the Jeep JL hood and grill, everything's shrunk down. We do the uh, Ball Designs light bar across the top, and then we do two lights on the A pillar. Uh, just to basically light up the side so that way when we're running on tight roads, get a little bit more light on the outside. So, you know, the two uh, LP9s in the front, you know, shooting straight down, straight forward. The light bar across the top gives me a horizon. And then the two uh, side pillars basically help me focus on uh, just a little bit of the rocks on the sides. So for the tires, 40 inch Netto Trail Grapplers, non-DOT and uh, we mount those on the KMC machetes. Uh, got some new wheels coming from KMC, pretty excited about, um, but they are five and a half inch back space. Uh, we try to get the arms as long as we can and get that complete upright inside the wheels. So we run Willwood six piston brakes on all four corners. We got a Willwood master cylinder and the Willwood brake uh, pedal assembly as well. So uh, Willwood brakes, obviously this thing being full drive, it's not aggressive on the brakes. So we uh, actually run a thinner rotor in the front uh, just to help with getting it all packaged inside that wheel. Uh, we run an Atlas T case and then, you know, a Turbo 400 uh, transmission. It's that reed case. It's, you know, everything's all the uh, radical internals and, you know, really haven't had a lot of uh, problems with the transmission. Uh, T case at uh, Hammers actually split in half. So got a bigger motor. Uh, crazy story, but ended up losing a motor right before the hammers. Caught a motor from Jason Shear, mixed the two parts together, and got 20 more horsepower out of it. So, pretty stoked on that. But uh, basically, running an LS platformed uh, engine. It's got all Molly performance pistons, uh, gaskets, all the bearings, everything that we can get from basically Molly performance. Uh, and then, Redline performance here in Anaheim puts everything together. So, pretty stoked on that. <laughs> The 
exhaust was custom built uh, by Racer Services uh, with the MagnaFlow muffler. So we're looking at right about, I think right about 870 horsepower at the crank. So in the 600s, uh, low 600s at the wheels. So I think it runs pretty good. So Fox four and a half inch triple bypass. It actually has an air valve. So in the video, you'll see a little air valve so that helps with some uh, low speed chatter. And then same with a two and a half inch coilover. Uh, right now we're strapped at 29 and 27 inches of travel, bumps 29. Uh, it's got a ton, a ton of travel. So when I originally built it, I wanted to be able to race rocks in the rocks and I wanted to be able to race in Baja and be able to do both okay. Um, have had terrible luck uh, in the rocks. I did win Crandon in, in the rocks, so it, it does work in the rocks. It hammers, it's just killing me. But anyways, I run a, a reverse four link. So trailing arm is up top. By doing that, I raise up my uh, trailing arms, getting all the big stuff out of the way. So in theory, in the rocks, it, it would open up for less, you know, less stuff to get stuck on rocks. So aluminum lower arms, uh, Himes on both ends from FK, uh, but it's tucked in for a reverse four link. So everything is super tight and super narrow. So it makes the bottom of the car really open. So really easy to drive in the rocks. In the rear end, uh, we've done a lot of homework. Because we run the rear end upside down, we're actually driving on the coast side of the gear. We run the motive gears, and with the motive gears, uh, we run a curry oil that we, you know, have formulated over years. And for us, it's the only gear oil that we've got the gears to last with, you know, those high temperatures running on the coast side of the gear. It's a very high offset we're in, tucking the uh, dry shaft into the wheel, doing that for me, was trying to get that dry shaft up out of the way. So in the rocks, everything's nice and clear. And then if we were to slide on a rock, it would actually go from under the motor skid plate right to the rear end and then right out the back. So. This is our trophy truck rear end that Curry sells. It's a chromoly rear end. Uh, we did a back brace across the back and then one across the top as well. All the load on this rear end is on the top because of the, you know, the coilover and bypass mounting at the top. So Jamie Campbell did a really nice job on the structure, uh, getting that thing dialed in. Uh, one cool feature uh, on this Jeep is James Lynn uh, did a pretty amazing job on the wiring. So we have TPMS on all four corners. So I know the tire uh, temperatures and pressures on all four corners uh, and every tire we change we already we always know tire temps and tire pressures uh, along with like we have temp sensors and sensors on basically everything so we did a 70 gallon fuel cell in the back tire sits right above it two fire extinguishers in the back and then it's got a suppression system underneath with a pull cord on the inside basically two gps satellites to get best satellite and then we do a, the satellite race radio so with the satellite race radio basically communication anywhere in the world so no matter where we are we always have communication with the team so that's what the white dome is and then as you can see there's a black dome right next to the radiator now we're getting into like live stream so we have live cameras on the car when we race so uh, that just helps boost uh, our signal so <laughs> From there, we run a CBR radiator in the back. Uh, engine oil temp, uh, cooler is mounted to the radiator as well, giving us optimal uh, flow. We don't have a lot of room in this thing, so getting all the uh, structure everywhere, is, it's tough in this thing. So pretty stoked on the way that ever, all the cooling worked out. Inside the car, we got basically Mo all MoTeC, MoTeC ECU, Mo MoTeC PDM, all the MoTeC keypads. We got the large GPS, and then um, on my side, I run uh, all the important water temp, oil pressure, uh, tranny temp, and then tire pressure gauges. And then the middle MoTeC is where you know my co-driver can go over all the schematics of everything throughout the car. Around that, we got a water pump. Like basically, I have a water cooling system that basically pumps uh, water into our mouth and keeps everything nice and cool. Uh, we run Sparco seat belts, Sparco seats, uh, Sparco steering wheel. And uh, you know we obviously have the, sh the shifter for four low, four high, and then we run the uh, Molly air filter uh, system. It's un inside the column for where the shifter is and uh, keeps it nice and tight. So, around that, the thing is pretty m amazing. But honestly, if you guys have any questions, write a comment. We'll, we'll we'll comment back and answer questions. I know a lot of people want to know more about it. If you got questions? Let me know. So, this is the Trophy Jeep, and uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Now, comment below, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here, watch more videos here. Thank you guys.